Hi, I'm Keiko at Wisteria Suri Ranch, and today I'm going to show you a behind the scenes of how I made this fox kit, um, needle felted fox kit, and I'll just kind of go through the process I go through just to share what it's like, and um, if you are getting any of my kits, you will see how much love and time I invest in the creation of each one of these very unique kit and um, if you are um, you know looking into creating kits for your own farm or for your own you know fans <laughs> um, I will share how I started so I'm gonna actually show you my very early kits it did not look anything like this um, so let me just first start by um, uh, maybe okay you know what I'm gonna just show you what this kit looks like and then I'll sh tell you kind of how I came about finally to getting to this point okay so um, it has basically everything you need to make your own little fox and I'm really excited and proud to say my husband's niece who's like nine years old did this and sent me a picture and oh my god like it was just amazing. I was just so touched. It was the cutest little fox and um, that it just gets me so excited when I see um, your successes. So um, yeah, so let me see. Okay, so I've got a little label. There's a felting foam and um, two needles in here. This one's got the 38 gauge that's so in a tube. So that's kind of boring. So I'm gonna leave that over there. This kit has the print version um, instructions. So on my in my wet Etsy, Etsy shop, I sell um, PDF patterns. So this is what takes a lot of the time to create. Is that okay lighting? Um, and I actually um, let's see. The video tutorial for the fox is always free on YouTube and you're always welcome to it and enjoy it and see what it looks like. But um, for this, so I have a print version so that it's not take up all your ink. Um, and then I have an online version which only has like, I think 10, 10 per page and it's a lot bigger so you can really get a close up. But I take a picture of each step um, and then create this and this is actually what takes a lot of time and each one has the step-by-step -step instruction so it's broken down in a way where if you're patient and you can follow instructions either by print or also by video that you can create this beautiful box and then I also have, I find this to be like, I actually sometimes still use it myself just for consistency um, but it's a size guide and so, um, you know, if you want a bigger fox, you could just print this at probably like 120 times or something, right? Like there's a copy feature. So you can do it like that. Um, or you can probably even adjust it before you print it. Yeah, there's a printer feature. So you can do that. Um, and of course, you know, you'll have to change the weight of the wool and what you need. <laughs> but you're smart. You, you got that figured out. All right. So yeah so i love that it's so cute okay so um and this one comes with a little bonus with the felted forest pad okay so let's see okay so that and then the material selection is actually where i do also spend a lot of time so it depends on the project so this one um I used, um, so this is the core wool. So this is to create the shape. Um, and then you can use, this is, I, I'm almost certain this is a wool Coriadel. Cor Coriadel, it's a t breed of sheep, but it's shorter fiber, crimpier. And so this tends to go super fast, easy to felt. Um, and so, you know, I try it with different materials to see what, what's easy, fast, and almost, um, foolproof as much as I can get it okay and then in this cute little bag there's the little brown also I believe it was Coriadel um, and don't know if I'm pronouncing it right but it's the one that starts with a C and then <laughs> get a little bit of black I think that one's actually Surrey Alpaca from my animals and then I have you know what I'm, I'm gonna show it to you okay so yeah I gotta show you these so I think these this was Angora goat 
so that's a mohair and I dyed it so I bought it white from a fellow farmer and then I dye it um, usually with Kool-Aid sometimes I use the non-toxic um, I think it's called greener shades uh, dye it's environmentally friendly and not toxic so you know <laughs> it's safe for you to use too okay um, but please don't eat the wool <laughs> <laughs> don't leave it out either your dogs and cats will love and chew it up and play with it okay so you got all this okay so like for instance if you've seen my other kits um, the angel and the fairy kits they use merino roving which is a different smoother looking usually have wool everywhere but um, I don't have it where I can reach it so um, but I use a different kind um, of wool because that is just easier to succeed with and um, less time, um, less fuss. Okay. Oh, yeah. Okay. I can't tie a, knot, uh, a ribbon right now. So, okay. I'm going to put these all aside. Okay. So, so when I come up with an idea, I go, okay, so let's do a fox. Uh, um, <clears throat> and I usually first go looking for animal pictures, the real photographs. So I go and look at different photographs. I usually print them out and collect them. And then the other thing I actually do is I go to um, illustrators. So I'll look for illustrations, um, drawings, and especially the how to draw that specific animal. The reason is it gives you really good basic shapes that they start creating the animal with. And so that gives you a really good idea of how to break things down into base shapes that you can add to. And that's one of the keys that I use in kind of making it so it's step by step and as easy as possible. Um, and so after I collect all that data or information and pictures, um, and also another fun thing to do, I like to look at like cute animated versions that accentuate um, the characteristic of the animal because when you get that kind of emphasized you know it's it makes it easier to look like that animal <laughs> if that makes sense okay so then after I do that so before I get here oh my goodness I usually make a bunch of little trials and so first so I looked at a, a sleeping fox picture and I thought oh that's cute so I tried it eh, it was it wasn't quite what I had in mind okay so there was that one and then I went okay well I see one that's standing <laughs> I'm like okay that actually does not really look um, it looked kind of like a dog to me so I don't think I got all the pieces right um, and I think it has to do with like kind of the proportion of the head so I go okay well I don't know and also when you have a standing pose you got to make four um, same size legs it can be a little more and goodness gracious I <laughs> don't know did not like the tail either okay so then um, I can't remember I started making the sitting version I thought okay that's a little better um, this was not my final project yet but um, I figured okay if I can do the head a certain size and make it white have it sit like this started to come together I thought okay that's cute it looks like a fox it's hard to kind of you know look at this and go okay that's a cat or even a dog okay and the color too of course makes it um, <laughs> easier to tell so once I kind of figured out okay that's a pretty good look then I kept like making I have like a couple more on my desk like my desk my husband loves it and cracks up he comes in here there's like a whole bunch of like similar items that I tried because once you make it they turn into little cute creatures and you can't throw them away so they all end up lining up on my desk and I love coming in and you know seeing everyone it's really fun okay so then um, you can kind of see okay let me see if I can okay so you might not see the difference as much but this one was closer to my final product and you can kind of see how like I tried to make the ears a little more a little bigger the face a little wider um, the front part a little um, well, actually that looks pretty similar okay but you can kind of see I kept sort of working towards it um, this has a slightly better built um, legs and rump um, 
and it, it's just a little tighter version so I kind of kept working made quite a few and then um, I was like well it needs something pretty to sit on so then the forest pad came and this is just the little green forest pad with a little bit of the green mohair this one actually doesn't look like mohair to me it might be sheep I, I usually have <laughs> a variety of fibers around. okay so then that's how it came to be and then from here I broke down all the steps and um, some of my tutorials I don't let me see how many of the facts has um, okay so then I take pictures so I'm making it and I take all the pictures of every single step let me see I think I usually make the um, size guide and pattern first because I since I make so many versions of the fox you know <laughs> I, I get to that okay so the fox has okay so the fox doesn't have nearly as many steps as I thought because I just made a fairy tutorial and it had like 111 images and it took me forever <laughs> to get all those in these cute little squares and step by step um, this one was 64 and then 65 says congratulations you're done so that's not actually as many steps um, the length of the tutorial videos will usually give you kind of an idea of how long it'll take for you as well I do most everything in real time every once in a while I'll pause if it's the same exact step and um, if I feel like I need to pause for some reason and, and do the other leg but a lot of them I just kind of go straight so the fairy one was really long I don't remember how long this one was um, they're all usually all the videos are usually on my YouTube channel um, also on my website um, yesterday my website was kind of choking but um, yeah wisteria surrey and it'll be under fiber tutorials and I usually put um, stuff up there before I release it on YouTube <laughs> and you can also sign up for my newsletter there um, you get a bunch of cool free stuff um, I actually made this um, online needle felting tutorial like all the stuff I wish I knew when I started like oh goodness 10 plus years ago like there were like almost no books and very little things back there very few videos too if there were any I'm not even sure and so I put together an hour free needle felting course and it's on Thinkific. So if you go to my website and um, sign up for the newsletter, you'll get information on how to get access to that, along with like, you know, some fun reports and whatnot. Um, but with that tutorial, um, I give you handouts, I give you basics on how to, um, you know, like fiber basics and all the fun stuff. And, um, and then this little project with making, so it starts super easy with um, making the egg just getting familiar with your needle and the wool and um, and then it gets a little harder <laughs> you the eyes and the little beak and then I think the hen is next so this one has a few more parts and so that there's a PDF pattern and I think I even have a printable like the same kind of tutorial and then the nest is the other part it, and so it goes through how you can work with textured um, fiber and attaching texture fiber onto like your base um, so you can see this is like the the core wall so and it's free <laughs> I, I'm actually a former teacher so I love to um, I love to do little fun teaching stuff and make courses and hopefully I'll be able to make more courses in the future but anyway that's just free so you know not selling you anything go free go have fun go learn and um, yeah okay so if you're still sort of hanging around with me <laughs> thank you <laughs> um, next time don't forget to bring your tea I, I just kind of love to um, share what I know okay so one of my very first so I'm gonna go back to, into like how I started okay so you know you look at my Fox tutorial uh, Fox kit and it's 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 getting there like I'm really proud of it I really love it it's it's just it's a lot of work it's a lot of love it's a lot of passion I get such such joy when you guys send me photographs of your completed projects oh my god I'm like ah! <laughs> all excited okay so yes always like share your pictures with me I just love it somebody just shared Jennifer Jennifer just shared with me a photo of her fairy that she made and oh my god I, I was just like I was showing it off to my husband I'm like look at what my friend made 
<laughs> so, um, anyway, to get here though, um, I, <laughs> you're gonna laugh, but okay, this is like my first kit. <laughs> <laughs> and I, I used to have, you know, when um, life was a little different and, uh, you know, I had farm visitors or sometimes, you know, homeschoolers uh, on my farm, which is su super fun. And hopefully, you know, I'll get to do that again in the future. Um, but um, so, you know, it was more geared towards this group. But um, <laughs> it's, a, it's a ladybug, how to felt a ladybug. And the ladybug is really cute. I love that. And um, I still probably have an old, old, old video out on YouTube. Um, and I didn't even have the step-by-step -step, like photographs or anything. So, so the video came later, as you can see, you know, like for the video, does it say? Yeah, video tutorial, okay, my farm website and then it was literally this little <laughs> flyer card and then it had like the core wool and just a few colors okay so I think I was selling this for a couple bucks <laughs> so you know and you know people ask me like okay you know is there a profit margin on these things <sighs> so if I was probably doing it in larger scale, there probably could be, but and of course I'm doing it as a business and my goal in the future, of course, is to always, you know, have extra money so I can help other rescues <laughs> and, you know, give extra treats to my animals, all that good stuff. But, um, you know, I, since I'm still a very small farm, I have to buy the foam and, you know, the other materials I mean, yeah, I might go for wholesale and buy a little bit in bulk, but it's like, you know, I might buy a couple pounds, not like a, an ounce at a time. So there's some discount, but it's not as much as you think. And um, when it comes to my animals and I use their fiber, <laughs> it's like, if you saw how much time we spent with the animals and the shearing and everything, it's like, I don't know. I mean, it's really hard to put a price on it. And then um, the hours I spend creating it, I, I'll probably say there, it's a ballpark between maybe like seven to 12 hours to come up with something like, you know, from the design to the, to this point where I can sell, um, the PDF tutorial on Etsy. And that actually really helps. So if you want to support me in any way, if you buy any of my PDF digital patterns on Etsy, that's actually very, very helpful. Um, because, you know, I don't have to ship anything and the work's already there. The work's already done. Um, but I totally lost my train of thought. Um, what was I saying? Okay. Oh yeah. So, and then that doesn't include all the time that I roll these into balls. Like I actually <laughs> roll each one and I have, see, you can see I use this all the time. I have it right next to me. I, I weigh it and I'm always, it's weird. I, I'm always like, I've got to make sure they have at least what I put in there or more. And so like, I'm constantly double checking, making sure. And then I put everything together. I have to bag it, you know, I print everything out. Um, and so like that time isn't really calculated in, <laughs> I mean, yeah, I guess, but if I did that and you know, I put some money on it, it's like, it's like, I, I also want to be reasonable and give you a good value and have fun and all that stuff. So, um, yeah, so if you're going into making kits for money, you probably need to do it on a much larger scale. I usually only assemble like 10 at a time and that's not a very fast process. I might roll more fibers for later, but I usually only put about 10, um, you know, at a time. And, you know, I print these on my own printer and stuff. So yeah, if you're doing it for the money, it's gonna, you're gonna want to probably do it on a larger scale and really have maybe you know, couple core products. And actually for that, I, I have a better, instead of um, like a specific Fox kit or something, having more of like a general material kit, that's actually probably better. Um, I did have a complete felting kit, but that just took me so long to put together. It, it was one of my best selling popular items that I can keep up. It was just a lot of um, hours to assemble the kit. <laughs> Okay, so this one's more of like my when I had the field trips with the you know with um, the homeschoolers. Um, I would it was a real simple kit. This one's actually on my website. I only have like two. Right Oops, I just saw it kind of flipped off. Okay, so 
I, I, I think I only have two on my website. I have a variation of different little kits and on my website, since I don't have to pay the Etsy fees, I'll kind of throw up random stuff. <laughs> That's why wisteriousstoryranch.com forward like forward slash forward slash like shop or something and um there i'll throw up all sorts of stuff and you can ask for custom stuff there because i don't get charged like a listing fee and etsy fee and i love etsy and you know etsy brings amazing customers and i i love them to pieces but um you know i have to be a little more mindful what i put up on etsy um just because i do get charged more for each one um on my website i can just put it up there and um and uh you know if it doesn't ever sell it's okay so i put more variety and more odds and ends um on my website and also through the contact form or you can just contact me at like info at wisteria um and you can request something like this like you know say oh i saw it on video um you know could you put something like this for me um so it was just a foam two needles 38 gauge 40 gauge core wool and then just um various rovings either from my animals or what i had on the farm and um so this one i think is so gosh long ago when people were coming i was selling it maybe for like 15 bucks but that you know that didn't include shipping and it was just right there um i think on the website i have it for like 22 ish i can't remember um so you know, this is great for just getting started. Um, this doesn't come with instructions, but you can get the free course or you can uh, look through my videos, YouTube videos. So a lot of my videos, you could, there's like a bear tutorial that you can use with just this and then snowman, dog, the dog one. I have a sleeping dog tutorial. Oh, those are so cute. Let me see. I got one. Okay, so you got, so you can, oh, you could probably make like two or three of these with just this kit. Um, and, they, and I have a tutorial, video tutorial, yeah, <laughs> on the channel or on the website. And um, the Corgi one, so cute, hi, sleeping. And you can add a Santa hat for Christmas ornaments too. Um, so these two, for instance, or let me just go with this one so you know what I'm talking about. Okay, so I use the core wool for the shape and then you'll see this pretty little beige Surrey alpaca roving so it's really nice and slick. Okay, so I use that to cover the corgi up and then there should be some black in here. I use that for the eyes and nose. And then with this kit also, you see I've got a whole bunch of friends here. Okay, you can also make this cute little teddy bear. <laughs> and this also, there's a free, there's all, the, all the videos are always free, so you can just find everything. Um, this one has a size guide and pattern, yeah, as a PDF tutorial. So this one um, only requires the white. And then for the green, you, you can probably just use this green. And then you can create like a little, you can probably do it even with this little fluff, with a little flower, but white, black, and a little bit. So I do try to keep some of my um, tutorial felted animals super simple with very few materials, just so that, you know, if you're just starting out, you don't want to go around and get a whole bunch of stuff. Yeah are looking for okay did I answer or did I talk about pretty much what you wanted to know I hope so okay well I hope you found this helpful and fun and uh, hope you'll join me again um, I'm very open so if there's questions you have that you want to you want me to talk about um, let me know um, in the comments and I'll try to see if I can come up with a video all right, thanks for watching. Have a most magical day. <laughs>